Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the Happy Hershey Kiss. Um, I made this all chocolate, the way I like it I guess, um, but you can make it so that like this top portion that curls around, you can make that white for the little paper that usually sticks out of them, and then make the bottom portion red, green, pink, silver, um, all the other different colors that they have for the um, wrappers that they have. So you can do it either kind of a wrapped version or just a chocolate version like this one. Um, the top portion is pretty easy to separate from the bottom, so you'll be able to figure that out. And I'll point it out as we go along. Um, Band-wise, um, in total I used 178 brown. Um, you'll use one to three black bands, depending if you use the 7 millimeter pony beads for the eyes, and then I have two cheek bands. If you do the um, like the white paper with the wrapper down below, it's just eight bands will be the white, and then whatever color um, for below will be the 170. So. It's not super band heavy. It's pretty quick to make, I hope. So we should get started. And we'll start with the eyes and the cheeks. If you want the beaded eyes, or you can have a wrapped band for the eye, whichever you prefer. And then you want your bands for your cheeks. So we'll start with the beaded eye. I use a piece of craft wire bent in half, but you can use string, thread, or floss, anything that you can put into the V shape. Then take two bands, the color of whatever this portion is down here, put them into the center of your V, close it up, and then thread your bead down onto the bands. And pull out your tool, and then you have a beaded eye band. You'd want two of these, or if you don't have beads, then you can use the wrapped band, it's just whatever color you want the eyes to be, put it on your hook, wrap it around into a figure eight, grab both bands, wrap it around again, and then once again whatever color you're having this bottom portion, two bands pulled through. And this would be a wrapped band eye band, so you'd want two of those if you don't have the beads. Cheeks are made the same way as the eyes, it's whatever color you want the cheeks to be on the hook, wrap it around to the figure eight, Grab both bands, wrap them around again, and then pull through two bands the color of your bottom portion. Like that. And you want two of those. And it's on one loom. We have the wrong end facing towards us. And I'm going to just make another chocolate one so they're the same. But we're going to start by making a, a chain portion up here. So the first eight that we chain, if you're going to do the white wrapper, you'll do that with white. But you're just going to take a band, put it on your hook, wrap it around to that figure eight, grab both bands, wrap them around again, and then take one band on the hook, double it into that figure eight, and you'll hang on to both bands, and then you'll pull it through what's on your hook put the other end back on. So that's two. We need to pull through six more. So on the hook, double it, pull it through. Back on the hook. Three, four, five, seven, and eight. So this will be your white portion if you want to do the paper thing. Um, and then next you'll pull through four bands the color that you want down below. And since mine's all chocolate, it'll be four brown bands. And just pull them straight through. And you can kind of leave them like this on your hook. And kind of somewhere in the middle of the loom, so on the 6th or 7th pin up, we're just going to lay them up straight across from each other. So it looks like that. Push those down. Then you want to take four more bands. And you're going to lay them right over the top. So kind of put it over that center portion and right over the top of it. 
Then you'll take your hook, grab the bottom four bands on the pin, pull them up over the top, like that. So this portion sticks up. Now we're going to increase, and we're going to do that by just over on the right pin, pick up the top two bands, whatever they are, pull them up to the next pin, and then do the same thing on the other side. Top two bands you find, lift them up, pull them up. It doesn't really matter if they're not like correct or they're not the same bands across because they don't they're hidden so just like that. Now two bands and we'll go all the way around. Like that. Then you flip the bottom two bands on all the pins. Push your bands down. Do another row exactly the same way. Two bands all the way around. Like that. And now you'll be flipping the bottom four bands all the way around. I will try and get a picture up on my Instagram, which is at Crafty Fantastic, showing the other version I'm talking about with the kind of wrapper looking one. Now we're going to do, after we have that row done, we're going to increase, and we're going to increase these two pins. So if you put them on exactly the same way I did, um, you should just be able up in this corner to pick up the top two bands and we're going to pull them up to the center. And you'll see there's nothing crossed here. The bands that I pulled up come around to this pin and the bands that are on this pin come down to here. Down on this one though, we have to actually pick up all four bands on the corner. And I'm going to move them down to the center, pick up the top two bands, and move them back. So now there's they're not crossed here either. So now we're on six pins. And we'll do a row all the way around, two bands. And again, you're either going to be flipping the bottom four, or where we expanded, it'll be the bottom two. So there's four again over here, and then two. So you'll be left with four bands on all the pins. Now we're going to increase to 12 pins. So how we're going to do that? So I'm going to start over here on this side first, and again if you have them on exactly the same way that I did around, um, we just don't want to have anything crossed, but I'm going to just be able to pick up the top two bands on this pin, lift them up, and pull them up. Down here, I'll have to lift up all four bands, pick them up, pull them down below, and I'll pick up the top two bands and bring them back to the pin they were on. So this band that's on this, these two bands that are on this pin come around to this one. Then we'll go and work on this side over here. I'm going to pick up all four bands again, pull them up to the pin above, grab the top two, bring them back down, and then down here on this pin you should be able to pick up the top two bands lift them up and bring them down. So we've expanded the outside ones. With the inside I usually pick up all the bands and just stretch them down a pin. 
then I'll pick up the top two, see where they're coming from, which is on this side, and then they'll go on the same side, and then I'll bring these up here. And then coming down below, I'll do the same thing, pick up all the bands, bring them down into the middle, a little farther out, pick up the top two, they're coming from the left again, so I'll bring them over to the left pin, and these other ones will come over to the right. So now we've expanded. So now we're going to do our eye row. So you want your eyes and your cheeks and your mouth band ready to go before long. So first starting two bands down here at the bottom. Two more bands. Then we're going to put our eyes right here. So take your eye band, stretch them out, put them over. Same for the next spot. And then it'll be two bands all the way around the rest. Like that. So then you will flip over the bottom two bands all the way around. Like that. So you'll be left with four bands on all the pins. Push those down. Next row will be our cheek row, and they're going to go right in the same spot where the eyes are. So again, I'll start with two bands down here at the bottom. And two. Then our cheeks. And once again, two bands all the way around the rest. It's funny because Hershey Kiss kisses are, of course, delicious. But if I have to choose between a Hershey Kiss or just a Hershey's candy bar, the pieces that you break apart from those, I'd probably choose the candy bar just because there's something different about eating the Hershey Kiss. It's not quite as satisfying, which is a really weird thing, I think, to... They both taste the same and, I don't know, weird thing. So like that. It's going to be flipping the bottom four all the way around. Who knows why? That's kind of weird. Maybe it just flattens against your mouth better or something. I don't know. So once you have those, push your bands down. Now we'll put on the mouth band. It's one band, whatever color you want the mouth to be, on your hook. Wrap it around one time into the figure eight. And then on the pin here between the cheeks, you're going to lift up all four bands that are on that pin, pull them up, slide down the mouth band, and then put them back onto the pin. Make sure you get all four of them back on there. Now we're going to do three rows all the way around, um, same two bands. It's a little repetition, but that's all right. So two bands all the way around. This will be the first row. I'm one of the people, too, that definitely prefer milk chocolate to dark chocolate. Which is bad, because dark chocolate is better for you. But, I don't know, I think it's just because it's more widely spread. 
just like that. Then you flip the bottom four all the way around. Dark chocolate is usually, there aren't as many candy bars that are dark chocolate. And if you want dark chocolate, a lot of times it costs more than milk chocolate. So I can see why it's more widely around, available. So push your bands down and do another row just like that again. Two bands all the way around. Like that. Flip the bottom four again. This is row two that we're doing. Push those down. And then one more row, and if you want, you can take your hook and kind of go in here and let these slide over the pins a little bit so they're not as stretched out. So then our last row all the way around with the two bands. Not last row, but last row like this. Try to stay away from chocolate, but it's oh so delicious. And it's hard to get away from. Like that. And again, flip the bottom four. But my cravings for chocolate come and go where sometimes like it doesn't even sound good. And then other times it's like I need to have some chocolate. Now. Mama wants some chocolate. But luckily we don't live too far away from a store, so if I really want it, then I can go get it. Let's push your bands down again. Now what we're going to do is reduce the pins, or reduce the number of pins that we're using. And I'm going to do that by starting up here on this pin. And then what we're going to do is you pick up the top two bands, see where they're coming from. And they're coming from this pin over here, and I'm just going to take them to the opposite side. So on these ones should be coming from over here so they'll come to the, to the left. So we are crossing the bands this time. So we just brought the two bands down to this pin. So we're going to go to the next one down. You'll pick up the top two bands. See where they're coming from and they're coming from below. So I'm going to bring them up. I'll grab the other two, bring them down. So we just put two bands on this pin. I'm going to go down to the next pin, pick up the top two bands. They're coming from the bottom, so they're going to go up to the top. Grab the other two, bring them down. So once again, we left off here, so we'll go to the next pin over. Pick up the top two bands. They're coming from the top over here, so we're going to bring them back across. Then we'll pick up the bottom two bring them over. So we left stopped here, go to the next pin up, grab the top two, and they're coming from above, so we're going to bring them below. And grab the other ones, bring them up. So again we stopped here, go to the next pin. This will be our last one that we reduce. Pick up those bands. They're coming from the top, so we'll bring them down. And we'll grab the last two and bring them up. 
So now we should just be on six pins. And what we're going to do before we do our next row is we're going to go and flip over the bottom four bands on all the pins, which will leave us with four bands from our reducing that we just did. So I'll go and I'll flip over the four bands below. All the way around on the six pins. Careful, I kind of pulled a little hard there if you do that. Almost popped it off. Wouldn't have been good. So now we'll have this. We have four bands on all the pins, and we're going to do a row around. So make sure we do the long stretches here to go from this pin to the far pin there. It's two bands still. And another long stretch across the pins. And then we'll do that all the way around. Like that. So then you'll flip the bottom four on all the pins. And these ones right here that kind of overlap the pin, you just tuck them back on the inside. Now we are ready to take this off the loom. You can use your rainbow loom hook or you can use the latch hook, um, rug latch hook. Should be Joann's, Michael's, most craft stores, um, Walmart, or online. Just search rug latch hook and you should be able to find it. I'm just going to take my hook, stick it in through all the bands that are left on the six pins. I'm going to pull through two bands, through everything, make a slip knot, and you want to kind of stretch it and flatten out that bottom piece so that it's smooth before you pull tight. A little too much smushing. take our little tail here and hide that up inside. So going through the top, grab your tail, pull it in, try not to snag other things. And you should just be able to, like mine's caved in a little bit, just kind of roll it out so that it's flat on the bottom. Use your hook if you need to. And of course, when I made this the first couple times, I didn't have this issue, but now that I have it, I get to show you so that you can go fix yours when yours goes goofy, too. So, like that. Pop its eye back out. Like so. So my tail band's still poking out. Go away. And then for this part up here, it's just a matter of taking your hook or your fingers even, and just bending it so that it curls around how you want it. Um, if you do the the paper, you probably don't curl it quite as much. Um, if you do, like I always kind of think of, like they drop the Hershey Kiss on the um, platter, and then they kind of bring it up and swirl it off to close it. So just take your hook or your fingers, and you'll go in and you just kind of bend 
or twist the bands around until you get it to the position that you like. And it'll take it'll take a little bit at first to kind of get the hang of what needs to go. Like I said, use your hook. Kind of use my fingernails. I'm gonna end up snapping something. That would be no good. But just do it until you get the curl that you want. That obviously is not what I want, but like that. If you have any bands or has a little indent, it's just from the stretching that we do on the long sides. So you take your hook and just go in and pull them out. Um, not a big deal. Just restretch them accordingly. You look a little flatter than my friend here. You must be the same. Maybe it's the top. There. Much better. So, I hope that you enjoy these. And like I said, check my Instagram for um, the version that I was referring to with using this as like the wrapper and then this with the paper. Um, because I think they both would be super cute. But I hope that you enjoyed these. I don't think they're super hard to make. I hope you don't think so either. Um, you definitely have to share them with me on my Instagram, which like I've said, I don't know how many times, it's at Crafting Fantastic, um, or my Facebook page, which is Feeling Spiffy or Crafting Fantastic. They'll both find me. Um, but as always, I very much appreciate that you guys are watching and um, definitely still getting back into the swing of things. And I, It's been a rough month but we are getting there but I hope that you enjoy these and I figure they fit pretty well with um, Valentine's Day coming up but thanks again for watching I definitely appreciate it and as always I'll have more for you soon happy looming